Hey, Bubba Tack here, and this is my uh, unboxing and first impressions video on the Condor Ops Chess Rig Black MCR4-002. I paid less than $27 for this here recently online and got it shipped to me and opened it up and it had a bunch of features to it that I wasn't aware of uh, that the description hadn't mentioned, so I decided to make a video for anybody else out there who's looking to maybe pick something up on this for a small uh, you know, chess rig project that they're putting together, an affordable chess rig project, so that they can know the different features and uh, get an idea before they purchase. Now, I don't know if each and every one of these from Condors like this. I know that there's different generations of it, so I don't know if this is an older generation that I picked up or if it's a more newer generation. So it'd be interesting if somebody, if people could post stuff in the comments and, uh, you know, talk about how theirs is set up differently to this to try to get an idea of kind of the different setups that Condor has for it. So uh, just to start out, a disclaimer on it. It uh, is made in China. If that's a problem for you, there are a lot of good options of stuff made similar to this. Uh, chess rig setups made similar to this. Uh, here in America, it made out of much better quality, uh, better nylon, better buckles, all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you don't mind spending a lot more for them, you know, more power to you. But for me, I was looking for something real affordable that uh, I something I could just throw to get pick up and just throw some. Uh, just throw a setup on there and uh, just roll with it and it not cost me a lot and this was exactly what I was kinda looking for just a panel just a chess rig with a harness and everything so uh, for me it was what I was looking for um, there, like I said there are other options if you're looking to spend some more money so just some general specs on it real quick you got four rows of molly and they are 14 across which was basically exactly what I was looking for. I'd say it's probably like a medium size uh, between, you know, a mi you know, a smaller a micro size, a medium size like this, medium panel, and then there's much larger panels. So, this one actually rides on me about uh, the center of my chest, uh, just below nipple level, and um, right there on top of my belly. I was worried they'd ride kind of low like a cummerbund, and that really wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for something that was uh, uh, up there a ways. So the way it actually came uh, to me rigged, and it is fully adjustable, it, it sat right where I wanted it, so I was really happy about that. So uh, just to get into some other features of it, these are uh, fairly good buckles. Uh, they're not name brand or anything like that. They're unmarked, and they're all, you know, Chinese and everything. And uh, they're, uh, you know, if you're going to really run it, there's probably going to be some issues with that for sure. And there's uh, two buckles here and two buckles here. And then there's uh, swivels up here, which I didn't know they had that, so that's kind of cool. So, uh, and the other side as well. So, uh, you know, if you're going to run it real hard, there may be some issues with that. But for what I have planned for it, I think those are going to hold up pretty well. And like I said... If it breaks down on me, uh, it was only $27, no big deal. I would, like I said, totally just looking for something that was uh, affordable. I was unaware that these were actually as padded as well they, as they are. I didn't know they were mesh here in the back either. They uh, are very comfortable and have quite a bit of padding. They have uh, three rows of molly right here, and then uh, this uh, plastic D-ring up here where you can attach stuff, so that's pretty neat. And they're held together in the back by this sort of fold over piece which you can actually uh, I believe you can remove that if you want to or just get it out of the way um, I'll probably leave it on there I don't mind it um, you do have uh, keepers that are on there so it's pretty cool if you want to uh, you know strap it right there to, to get that out of the way to get that excess out of the way that's pretty neat I didn't know that feature was on there either um, the uh, waistband was a big issue for me I was really worried because I'm a big guy, uh, weigh nearly 300 pounds. I uh, was really worried that that um, was going to uh, not be long enough. There is plenty, in my case, plenty of excess. You know, I could actually probably tighten this up uh, quite a bit more uh, and probably will when I start putting it together. And that's already the excess I have with it loose. So, plenty of room if you're a big guy like me. Uh, which I was really surprised. I just figured, you know, I'd disconnect it down here and I wouldn't even wouldn't even use that because I just figured it wasn't going to be big enough for me. So, very impressed with that, uh, that it's more than enough room for me. 
Uh, other features are there's a pouch right here and a pouch right here and they are identical to each other and I'll get to those in a minute and then there's a big center pouch right here on the inside uh, which I'll uh, get to in a minute but uh, anyways flipping it over you have a little pouch back here it's got some velcro and uh, it has it's a nice little uh, kind of it's a uh, mesh but it's got a little bit of padding to it there are drain holes uh, for all the pouches on the back here, so that's pretty cool. You see, made in China, and it's got the condor symbol right there. Now, going back to the front here, uh, the thing that's cool about these pouches on the side is, is they uh, they're Velcro closures, so if you want to seal them up, you can. But they have bungee on the top, which is removable if you untie it. But they're mag pouches. You just uh, shove an AR or an AK mag down in there and they're nice and thick for it. And if you want to use something else in there, you can always seal the top and it's nice and sealed up in there. But it's uh, an extra two mag pouches that are already built into it that I wasn't even aware were there. I actually thought uh, either this was sealed off or it was part of the main uh, pouch that's inside there. So that's a pretty cool feature that it has those two on either end. I was not aware that was that it was set up that way. The main pouch is even neater to me because I was unaware that, I don't know if you can tell inside there, but there's hook and loop in there, a big, uh, big good size panel of it that runs from one side of the pouch to the other. And this is a quite a roomy pouch. It's, uh, but it's hook and loop in there, and I wasn't aware of that at all, which is real neat because now you can, uh, you know, you can get one of their universal uh, holsters and you can throw it in there and uh, have your gun in there if you don't mind it taking up quite a bit of room. Or, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of an administration pouch, so any number of things, uh, little pouches that'll go in there with hook and loop on the back. So that's really neat. I had no idea that that was in there. And uh, that's, uh, you know, a pretty big uh, upgrade to me because uh, most of the time guys got to sew those in on these really affordable ones. So uh, also, if you uh, can see here, um, this backing right here, it doesn't have that, uh, you know, uh, silky type uh, vinyl uh, backing to it that uh, is, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, uh, slick to it it's just the actual uh uh denier it's probably low denier but uh denier uh, nylon so it's actually a little bit better quality nylon than condor's been doing in the past so that's pretty cool to see on this and uh it it just i was just really surprised at all the features it has i know i'm missing uh <laughs> some things on it but uh just the hook and loop in there I wasn't aware of. The two mag pouches on the side or, or you know, any sort of use pouch, utility pouches on the side. The padding and nylon uh, uh, padding and uh, uh, breathable uh, mesh on the uh, shoulder straps. And then the fact that the uh, waistband is just uh, real good and sizable uh, for a big guy. And plenty of, plenty of space. Uh, plenty of adjustability and the keepers on the end to uh, deal with the excess and then the swivels. I just wasn't aware of all that and maybe it was because I didn't research it enough. I don't know. But uh, so just want to do a video on it and I got it from uh, rangemonkey.com. I uh, recommend them highly. Uh, like I said, less than $27 when I bought it great price and they shipped it right out to me very very fast shipping and uh, I highly recommend them so uh, go ahead go take a look at them and uh, go take a look at these rigs I'll probably do another video after I get it set up uh, the way I want it and maybe do an update video on that so thanks for watching Bubba Tack